Hello, writers. I'm Josiane Fortin, and today I'm interviewing Rachel Brooks. Rachel is the self-published author of the book, Chasing Perfection, A Journey to Healing, Fitness, and Self-Love. Thank you so much for being with us today. And please tell us a little bit about you. What's your background? Like, what did you study? What are you working in? I want to know everything. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Well, thank you for having me. So I am, uh, this is my first book, so I'm a new author, but I am a fitness and lifestyle entrepreneur, author of Chasing Perfection, host of the Confident Woman podcast, and I'm just a creator overall. I love to create. I love to, um, one of my biggest passions is kind of something like a self mantra that I, that I repeat every time as being in the entrepreneurial space is that if it doesn't exist, create it. And that's something that I love doing as a creator where um, you know, coming off of my, my story, I take that reader through this journey. And so as that creator, I help take the journey or take the woman on the journey with me and have her troubleshoot those kind of areas. So it's really cool to, um, not as a reader, but as a woman kind of coming up in that journey and taking it to the other side. So kind of those breakthrough moments. So those are things that I'm really, really passionate about. It's just empowering women. And it all starts with self-empowerment. And why did you decide to write this book? Like, when did you publish it? Is it like brand new? Like what happened? So the book itself is brand new. Uh, as far as being published, it was published in Ju uh, June of 2020. And I had been working on it since um, late 2017. So it took maybe about two years to fully come together. And then um, I had a few other projects. Like I said, I kind of do a whole lot of things. So I, I was kind of working in that midst of, uh, do I want to go traditional? Do I want to go self? Do I want to go into like a hybrid publishing? So there was a lot of uh, working through those kind of situations, like what would be the best approach for getting my book out, sharing my message, building up a platform, building the personal brand, creating the things that I love to do and still serve that woman who's on that journey. So overall, I would say maybe it took about two and a half years from um, start to full publish. So you went writing, having into your mind like a strategy, you wanted to build something around this book or the book was a piece of something else, right? Yeah, yeah. So the book was actually the last component of everything that I've been working on. So while I was in the midst of my own journey, I would come across um, areas that, you know, kind of my, my whole thing is like, oh, I wish somebody would create this or I wish somebody would do that or I wish this existed on it for me while I was in that journey. And that's where I said, Oh, well, I should go create it. So I've been working on that aspect of it. And in the midst of it, I was just like, you know what, I, I, I feel really good about where I'm at having to um, overcome certain things in my life. And I want to gift that back to other women, because I know that I needed it for me back then, just as this, this book is another tool or a resource that I help to share back, you know, give back to the women on that journey. What can readers expect when they open your book? Like, what do you share with them? I share everything. <laughs> it's, um, you know, and I use that in a way, but it, it's, it's, it's a very real, raw and vulnerable book. Um, you know, it's a story and, and it's the story of taking off the mask of perfection and really shining light on what holds us back from who we, who we are and who we're created to be. And when I had to overcome those, um, you know, personal experiences and whatever I was going through at the time, it, it's a lot of the life lessons. So as, as a human, you're going to relate to it. So, you know, it, and it's not just for women, but obviously it's told from a woman's perspective because of all the pressures that are put on as a woman through today's society that if we don't meet these expectations or look a certain way or think of, the, you know, and so all these um, norms and expectations that we look at as if we, we compare ourselves to where we're at today and we see this big gap and that causes that comparison and that self-fulfilling prophecy of I'll never be enough or I'm not enough, you know, when those, and, and that's really the ideal of chasing perfection because it doesn't exist. And I feel like we, we're striving for something, whether it's perfection or, you know, uh, wealth, status, fame, whatever it may be, we're chasing after something that is it attainable. And if it is, or if it isn't, we really need to address why are we chasing this? What will it mean to us? What are we, what's the root of what we're really chasing after? And, you know, for me, I share the, you know, multiple stories in there, all the life lessons that I learned, and then coming through on the other side is really that, 
um, the breakthrough that is the, the hope and inspiration for the reader to know that they're not alone and there is hope. So it's, it's, it's a very thorough journey. Um, and like I said, it's very real, it's very relatable and it's vulnerable. So that was something that I knew that if I had to do this on my own work, I needed to gift that to other people as well, because I feel like that's where a lot of, um, we get caught up in really being our authentic selves. And for many, we don't even know who that is. And so it's kind of like that glimpse and I hope it inspires that reader to really shine light on themselves. And how did you find the process of writing your first book? Was it really painful? Was it joyful? <laughs> what did you feel? I actually write about that as a, uh, it was probably, you know, to sum it up. And I was like, really, what is this whole process? And I would have to say it was the most therapeutic and cathartic process I've ever done in the most like joy, pain, sorrow, like all the things that come, like every emotion I had gone through in this writing process, it, it tapped into things that I didn't know existed. You know, sometimes when we tell ourselves these stories, it's like, they're just, they just sound like words coming out of our mouths. There's really no emotional connection to it. But when we start writing, there's, there's all kinds of connection from, from our, our thoughts to our mind to, you know, making the pen flow, you know, as you're writing or your fingers tapping on the computer, whatever it is, writing is one of the most therapeutic things that I found that works for me. And um, I encourage people in this book, you know, to, to seek some help if they're uh, struggling with something or, you know, sometimes just writing it down helps us to articulate or process through what we're emotionally going through. So it helps you to write it down and then you get to share it with the world. Right. And what advice would you give to an aspiring author looking to write the, their first book? So I think overall, just really get clear on what your, what your intent is. Um, you know, for, for many, we just may have like a story to tell and, you know, from a, from a writer to a reader perspective, is it enough for the reader? It's, is it captivating? Is it intriguing? Is it really going to emotionally move them? Is it going to, um, you know, make them want to read more? So I know for me, when I started writing, there was parts that I was just like, kind of, you know, do I withhold some of this information? And I thought, no, because if this is really the, the healing process, I need to know that I can help heal somebody else by being as vulnerable as I, ca as I possibly can. And that's through, you know, through the writing, whether you're writing fiction or nonfiction, give as much detail. The reader wants it, but if, if your intent of writing this book is to help solve a problem or to inspire somebody, you need to give them all that you can. Awesome. What do you feel was the hardest part about becoming a self-published author? I think wearing all the multiple hats, <laughs> you know, from being a writer to then a published author, then to a marketer and a promoter and a brander and, and all the multiple hats. And I feel like for me, I'm used to it because I've been an entrepreneur for so many years that I have worn multiple hats, but it's also about building your brand and your business around it. So once you, you kind of navigate that, either you can do it yourself or you can um, outsource it or w w there's so many different ways about it, but it's like when you find those sticking points, it's really about, is this a strength of yours? Is this something you want to improve or is this something that you can maybe ask for help on um, or, or is it something that maybe you're not so good at today, but you genuinely have a passion to pursue it and learn it and become a better marketer or seller, promoter, whatever it may be. Um, but there are a lot of hats that you wear and it does get exhausting. Um, but I feel like that's the hardest part, but it's also, you know, for me, I love challenge. I love learning. I love growing and talk about it all in the book. So it's, um, you know, kind of brings me back to what I'm good at and just really staying in that lane. And now that this book has been out, has been out for what, like a couple of months? Um, four months. Okay, yeah. four months. Do you see like business coming in from the book? Have has this helped establish your credibility in the market? I feel it has, but I've, it was also the last component of my of my brand. So it, it's basically summed it up as like the. Um, the last wheel of it. So now that everything is in motion, like I, I've created all these systems and, and tools and resources and everything, like I said, to help walk that reader and, and woman through their journey, the book now takes the, it puts it in full circle. Like this is why I do what I do because I have been there. I've done this and I've overcome it. So this is pretty much my why. 
Like if I could say, okay, what is this book? It's, it's my motivator it is my, why is my North star of everything I do because of how I used to be. Um, and so that was, a just a really kind of aha moment there. Like, you know, like this is where it ties it all together. The book obviously now is just another means. It's another platform to share my message. I have my podcast. I have my, my blog. I have my, uh, social platforms as well. And the book is just another means to really uh, share that message. Okay. And how do you promote the book? We talked about the various hats that we need to wear as a writer and you're a business entrepreneur. So what do you do to promote your books? Well, a lot of online marketing. Um, so getting it out on as many platforms as possible, doing podcasts like you and I are doing today, um, you know, being guests on other people's podcasts, as well as having my own podcast. So I'm able to talk about the book, talk about the journey and, and you know, kind of le uh, tie, tie it all together because it's a part of me. It's an extension of me, as well as um, teaming up with other authors, other collaborators with uh, a, a similar message and offer to, um, you know, enter your book into a giveaway or bring them on into your platform. It's, it's more, it's open the doors for collaboration. And then if you want to get into um, your local libraries, bookstores, whatever it may be, now you have that as an opportunity too. And, and I know we're kind of in the, in the midst of like pandemic -y, COVID still, like we don't know what's going on, but a lot of bookstores well, prior, and this is where I'm learning it as well, would, would open the doors for having readings and signings and everything like that. So it depends on that bookstore, if what their uh, rules and criteria is, but there's many that, that are open to readings and signings and getting your book in there. And, um, you know, it's just the first thing is call them and ask them if you can get your book in. Do you feel there is like one action that got you a lot of traction, like maybe a collaboration that you did or what was your favorite promotional, um, tactic so it was it was really the hype of it the uh pre-launch getting people excited for your book um you know they you kind of warm them up the process and then as you get closer to your launch date you know you can uh run promos or you know hey if you buy or pre-order today you get a free x y and z or you know whatever these giveaways is kind of an incentive to um, entice people to one pre-order your book, but also you're, they're excited for you because they feel a part of your journey. And then once it launch date hits, I had teamed up with, um, uh, my, well, my, my team had actually launched it, pushed it out. And then, um, was working with a lot of the email marketing, uh, campaigns, social media campaign. And I, it was just from pre-launch to launch was amazing. I've uh, been bestseller multiple times on Amazon. Um, super excited about it. It was just, you know, it's like uh, my publisher says like, oh, it's like, you know, birthing a baby. You're like, you want to tell people about it and this is what's happening. And then get close to the, um, you know, baby shower. And then when the baby's born. And so it's like this whole anticipation where people are included in your story. And were you able to get a lot of reviews on Amazon? Yes, surprisingly, um, you know, I, I, I worried about that, right? Because like I said, this is, this is very real. It's my soul. Like it is me and I'm being judged, right? Because people are, you know, everyone loves a review. And um, I was a bit worried how, how it would be perceived by the public. And it has, it's been phenomenal. Um, the reviews some of them just literally move me. I, I get teared up, like to know that my book had such a profound impact on their lives as just a reader. And I don't know if I personally know them or if they follow me, I don't know this, but to me, it's just, it, it's a stranger. And that's exactly why I, I needed to share the story because other people needed it too. And so when I read these reviews, um, you know, it just, it's, it's kind of that um, validation that your book was needed. Yeah. And do you promote yourself as a writer at, at all, or you are more focused on promoting yourself as a business owner? I'm an entrepreneur. Um, so I, I'm, I'm a, I have multiple businesses and it's like I said, if it doesn't exist, create it. And that's always been part of my mission. And so I wouldn't, I wouldn't just pigeonhole myself as like one, one identity. And then we talk about identity in the book as well. Um, so I just kind of chalk it all up as an entrepreneur. I, I, you know, like I said, an author, a creator, um, 
you know, a speaker, a coach, like I, I wear so many hats in that, that industry. And that's what I absolutely love doing. So um, I will write again because I absolutely love it. I'm working on content for my next book, um, getting feedback, you know, from, from reviews and other people is always encouraging because now I know what people want more of. So it's just really about leveraging your audience as well because it's a, it's a service of both ways. You're serving that audience by, by giving them your words and, um, you know, inspiring them, but they also inspire me because of what they've gone through. They share their stories with me as well. Do you have a launch date for that next book or like how far is <laughs> not it? Not yet. Not yet. I'm still working on the outline and a lot of the criteria. Like I kind of, you know, right now it just helps to kind of give me a placeholder title. So at least then I know what the content would be about. And it's more, you know, it's, it, it's more life lessons. Um, you know, obviously this book was written up until a certain point of my life and I'm, I've learned so much more. So it's, it's what I love to do is take life lessons and make them simple and practical for other people to learn from. And so that's kind of what I do and that's what I share and even everything that I'm creating and doing as far as online and even in my writings right now. Sounds so interesting. Yes, Thank absolutely. you so much for being on, on the podcast. If people want to know more, where can they connect with you? You can find me on all social platforms at I am Rachel Brooks and also on my website, I am rachelbrooks.com. Okay, awesome. I'll make sure to share those links in the show notes. Thank you so much. Well, thank you.